Walt Disney once said, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, and dreams are forever. Walt lived by this quote. He believed in creating a place that let everyone feel like a child again and to create memories that would last a lifetime. His dream became a reality when he created what is now known as the happiest place on earth. Hi, I'm Connor Tomlinson. Today, I'm going to share with you a little bit about the life of Walt Disney and the magic that he's created all over the world, from his animated characters and cartoons to the two theme parks, Disneyland and Disney World. Walter Elias Disney was born on December 5th, 1901, in the Windy City of Chicago to Flora and Elias Disney. His mother was a school teacher and his father a businessman. His father did not believe in the entertainment industry. However, this did not stop Walt from pursuing his dreams. He had three brothers, Herbert, Raymond, and Roy, and one sister, Ruth. He and his family moved from Chicago to a small farm in Missouri. Walt spent a majority of his childhood selling his art to the local neighbors, and instead of doing his schoolwork, he would draw animals in nature that he saw. In 1919, Walt Disney decided to move from Kansas City, where he found his first artistic job at an art studio where he met Up Hours. Walt began to create his first short films titled The Alice Comedies, about a girl and her adventures around the world. When the commercial studio went bankrupt, he took the Alice Comedies to Hollywood, where he wanted to have a fresh start. In California, Walt and his brother Roy expanded their production operation and created Alice Comedy's feature, Alice in Cartoon Land. Soon, on July 13, 1925, Walt married Lillian Bounds, one of his employees and his only true love. Later, they would be blessed by two children, Sharon and Diane Disney. Three years after Walt and Lily married, he created a new animated character, which I'm sure all of you have seen, the famous Mickey Mouse. He is a mouse that has a wife, Minnie Mouse, but he's very popular, and I'm sure y'all have seen him. Mickey Mouse actually made his first screen debut in Steamboat Willie, the world's first synchronized sound cartoon, which premiered in New York on November 18, 1928. Walt constantly strives to create the perfect art of animation. Technicolor was introduced during the production of Silly Symphony's cartoon features. Walt Disney had the patent for Technicolor for two years, so he's the only one that could create the full colored cartoons. On December 25th, 1937, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was the first full-length animated musical feature in Los Angeles. And I'm sure you've all seen this because it's even popular now with kids these days. The film was produced from an unheard cost of $1,499,000 during the depths of the Depression. During the next five years, Walt Disney Studios completed other full-length films like Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. And I know these were big when I was a child, and we still show them to my nephew today. In 1940, construction was completed on the Burbank Studios, and Disney staff swelled to more than 1,000 artists, animators, storymen, and technicians. Although, because of World War I, 94% of Disney's faculty were engaged in special government work, including the production of traveling, propaganda films for the armed services, as well as the health films which are still shown throughout the world by the U.S. State Department. By 1945, the studio had produced cartoon animations such as The Three Caballeros and the highly acclaimed Mary Poppins film, which is still very popular today, just like Snow White, Pin Pinocchio, and Fantasia. In 1955, Walt dreamed of a clean, organized amusement park, which came true. He opened Disneyland Park at a high price of $17 million. 
It entertained over 200 million people in a short amount of time, including presidents, kings and queens, and other royalty from around the world. It, Disney began producing TV programs as well in 1954 and was the first to present a full color program, Wonderful World of Color, in 1961. However, that was the beginning of his success. In 1965, Walt Disney personally directed the design of the experimental prototype Community of Tomorrow, which most of us know is Epcot. It was planned a living showcase of the creativity of American industry. Disney purchased a 43 square mile in the part of Florida and created the magical world of Walt Disney World. This world would include a new amusement park, resort vacation centers, and Epcot, which looks just like this if you visited Disney World. After seven years of thoughtful planning, the construction was finished and the Walt Disney Resort opened, including the Magical Kingdom, which now today has several parks within it. Disney Typhoon Lagoon, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Blizzard Beach, Downtown Disney, and Emporium. Walt Disney is a legend and a folk hero of the 200th century. His worldwide popularity was based upon the ideals which his name represents, imagination, opt optimism, creativity, and self-made success in the American tradition. Walt Disney did more than just touch hearts, minds, and emotions of millions of people other than the past century. Through his work brought joy, happiness, and universal means of communications to the people of every nation. Thank you.